नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस सेशन आई विल डिस्कस प्रिंसिपल एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ हाई प्रेशर लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी इन दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न व्हाट इज द एचपीएलसी एंड इट्स प्रिंसिपल व्हाट इज द कॉलम एंड इट्स रोल व्हाट इज द मोबाइल फेज हाउ मॉलिक्यूल्स आर गेटिंग सेपरेटेड इन द कॉलम व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ detector what are the industrial application of hplc now question comes why hplc is required for analysis to get answer of this question we will analyze two sets of sample by both traditional method and by chromatography method set 1 contains mixture of 4 methyl benzoic acid and 2 methyl बेंजोइक एसिड इन रेशियो ऑफ वन इज टू वन वेन दिस सैंपल विल बी एनालाइज बाय टाइट्रेशन और यूवी मेथड विल ऑलवेज गेट रिजल्ट अबाउट हंड्रेड परसेंट बट वेन दिस सैंपल विल बी एनालाइज बाय एचपीएलसी विल गेट रिजल्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट HPLC chromatogram contains two peaks. Out of two peaks, one peak will be due to two methyl benzoic acid, and second peak will be due to four methyl benzoic acid. In second set of sample is phenol, and it also contains benzoic acid as a impurity. when the sample will be analyzed by traditional method that is a chemical method or by uv it will give result about 100% but the same sample will be analyzed by hblc will get different result since it contains benzoic acid as an impurity and hplc chromatogram will contains two peaks out of two peaks one peak will be due to impurity that is benzoic acid and second peak will be due to phenol in such cases traditional method that is titration method or uv method not work that is the reason hplc method came in the picture hplc method give correct result but traditional method don't give the correct result hplc method is selective but traditional method is not selective hplc high pressure or high performance liquid chromatography In HPLC technique, in a single run, multiple components can be separated and can be analyzed. That is the reason it is called high performance liquid chromatography. Since analysis is being performed at a high pressure, that is the reason it is also called high pressure liquid chromatography. In HPLC. A stationary phase is a solid, and mobile phase is liquid. Separation is achieved by partition mechanism, adsorption mechanism, and ion exchange process. HPLC components: mobile phase, mobile phase reservoir, degasser, pump, mixing valve, guard column, sample injection port, injector, column, column temperature controller, detector, waste collector, data processor, and chromatogram. Flow diagram. First, I will discuss about mobile phase. Mobile phase is a solvent or composition of different solvent. Function of mobile phase reservoir to contains mobile phase. Function of degasser is to degas dissolved gases of mobile phase. 
फंक्शन ऑफ पंप टू डिलीवर मोबाइल फेज एट हाई प्रेशर इट गोज टू गार्ड कलम देन गोज टू फ्लो कंट्रोलर देन सैंपल इंजेक्शन पोर्ट देन इन एनालिटिकल कलम देन इन डिटेक्टर एंड फाइनली इट गोज टू वेस्ट कलेक्टर द फंक्शन ऑफ गार्ड कलम इज टू रिमूव इम्प्यूरिटी ऑफ मोबाइल फेज द फंक्शन ऑफ फ्लो कंट्रोलर इज टू मैनेज द फ्लो रेट इन इंजेक्शन पोर्ट सैंपल इज बींग इंजेक्टेड दैट सैंपल अगेन गोज टू एनालिटिकल कलम एंड इन एनालिटिकल कलम ऑल कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द सैंपल आर बींग सेपरेटेड आफ्टर दैट इच कॉम्पोनेंट गोज टू डिटेक्टर डिटेक्टर डिटेक्ट द कॉम्पोनेंट एंड कन्वर्ट इन टू सिग्नल एंड सेंड दैट सिग्नल टू डाटा प्रोसेसर एंड डाटा प्रोसेसर कन्वर्ट दैट सिग्नल इन टू पी the different detectors which are used in hplc are uv detector pda detector fluorescence detector refracting index detector mas detector corona detector evaporating light scattering detector electrochemical detector but in pharmaceutical industry mainly uv detectors are being used because most of the pharmaceutical molecules having the uv absorbance in columns separation of component takes place it is filled with stationary phase column is denoted like c18 250 into 4.6 5 micron here c18 is the stationary phase of the column 250 mm is the length of the column 4.6 is the internal diameter of the कॉलम 5 माइक्रोन इज पार्टिकल साइज ऑफ द स्टेशनरी फेज मोड ऑफ सेपरेशन इन इंडस्ट्रीज मेनली रिवर्स फेज कोमेटोग्राफी दैट इज आरपीसी एंड नॉर्मल फेज कोमेटोग्राफी दैट इज एनपीसी आर यूज्ड फॉर एनालिसिस इन आरपीसी दैट इज इन रिवर्स फेज कोमेटोग्राफी मोबाइल फेज इज ए पोलर बट स्टेशनरी फेज इज नॉन पोलर मोबाइल फेज इज ए मिक्सचर ऑफ एक्वा सोलवेंट एंड ऑर्गेनिक सोलवेंट एक्वा सोलवेंट मे बी वाटर और मे बी बफर ऑर्गेनिक सोलवेंट आर जनरली एसिटोनाइट्राइन मिथनोल टी एच एफ एटसेट्रा in a stationary phase silica is bonded with carbon chain when silica is bonded with eight carbon chain it is called c8 column when it is bonded with c18 chain then it is called c18 column for analysis in reverse phase chromatography mode sample must be soluble in aqueous medium in normal phase chromatography that is in npc mobile phase is a non polar like hexane heptane mdc etc stationary phase is a polar like silica amino diode for analysis in normal phase sample should be soluble in non polar solvent
नाउ क्वेश्चन कॉम्स हाउ सेपरेशन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टेक्स प्लेस इन एच पी एल सी टू अंडरस्टैंड द मेकानिजम वी विल इंजेक्ट मिक्सचर ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट इन रिवर्स फेज मोड सैंपल इज ए मिक्सचर ऑफ टोलिन एंड बेन्जोइक एसिड मोबाइल फेज इज ए जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव परसेंट फॉर्मिक एसिड एंड एसिटोनाइटाइल इन रेशियो ऑफ सिक्सटी इज टू फोर्टी सैंपल कंसेंट्रेशन इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम जी पर एम एल एंड इट हैज बीन प्रिपेयर बाई डायलिटिंग ट्वेंटी फाइव एम जी सैंपल इन फिफ्टी एम एल वॉलोमेट्रिक फ्लास कलम इज सी एटीन वेव लेंथ इज टू फिफ्टी फोर नाइनोमीटर फ्लोरेट इज वन एम एल एंड इंजेक्शन वॉलोम इज ट्वेंटी माइक्रोलीटर नाउ वी विल सी हाउ इच बेन्जोइक एसिड एंड टोलिन विल सेपरेट इन दिस कोमेटोग्राफी कंडीशन इन नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वेन सैंपल विल बी इंजेक्टेड एट दैट टाइम सैंपल पोजिशन विल बी एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द एच पी एल सी कॉलम सिंस दिस इज द रिवर्स फेज हेन्स स्टेशनरी फेज इज नन पोलर दैट इज हाइड्रोफोबिक मोबाइल फेज इज ए पोलर दैट इज हाइड्रोफिलिक सिंस स्टेशनरी फेज इज नन पोलर हेन्स इट विल try to attract and retain non polar molecule whereas mobile phage will try and carry to polar molecule in sample mixture benzoic acid is polar whereas toluene is non polar in p1 time benzoic acid start moving at t2 time benzoic acid is moving and toluene also start moving at t3 time benzoic acid is about to elevate and position of toluene also changed when benzoic acid will elevate detector detect and convert it into signal and send that signal to processor and data processor will convert that signal into peak like that similarly we will get peak for toluene also and both peak will be separated this is the separation mechanism finally this will be elution pattern of both benzoic acid and toluene chromatography terms chromatogram is the plot of area response versus time peak when analyte goes in detector detector detect it and convert it into signal and that signal detector send it to data processor and data processor convert that signal into peak like that the analyte where it eludes that time is called retention time when rt of one component is compared with another component that is called relative retention time and it is calculated by input rt divided by sample rt wide volume the peak due to solvent present in the wide space of the stationary phase is called wide volume area percent when area percent of one component is calculated with respect to total area that is called area percent like that कलम इफिशियंसी टेल्स नैरोनेस ऑफ द पिक एंड इट इज 
calculated by this formula. Resolution tells separation between the two peaks and it is calculated by this formula. Tailing factor is calculated by the formula A plus B divided by 2A. When tailing factor will be more than 1, then tailing will occur. When tailing factor is less than 1, then fronting will occur. Isocratic and gradient elevation. In isocratic elevation, composition of mobile page is not changed throughout analysis. Whereas in gradient mode, composition of mobile page is changed with time. When there is a huge difference in polarity of the molecules, in that case, gradient illusion is used. In this sample mixture, there are benzoic acid, phenol, toluene, and anthracene. Benzoic acid is highly polar, phenol is polar, toluene is nonpolar, anthracene is nonpolar. That is the reason these components will not be eluted in isocratic mode, but these components can easily be eluted in gradient mode. This is the typical gradient at time zero, aqueous is 80% and organic is 20%. At 15 minutes, aqueous is 20%, and organic is 80 percent. In when aqueous is high, then polar molecule will elute. <clears throat> when organic will high, then non-polar molecule that is toluene and anthracene will elute. Following chromatography parameters must be kept in the method. That is the column. HPLC instrument details, mobile phase detail, mode of separation, flow rate, injection volume, wavelength, column temperature, auto sampler temperature, run time, system suitability evaluation details like resolution, theoretical plate, tailing factor, QL of the method, standard sample SST preparation detail. Procedure of injecting the blank QL solution, standard solution, and sample solution, and calculation. HPLC is used for quantitative and qualitative analysis. Quantitative analysis like assay, content test, impurity profile. Qualitative analysis like identification, purity, reaction monitoring. This technique is widely used in pharmaceutical industries, in food industries, in pesticide industries, in hospital, and in testing lab. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel for any doubt related to this lecture write in the comment section and I will answer on priority basis. Let's meet in next session.